Two people arrested for a string of local break-ins happened earlier this month. Metro police say 24-year-old Rondell Wilson, 26-year-old Shamar Swanson, facing more than a dozen charges each. They're also accused of holding a woman at gunpoint in front of her young granddaughters. A News Now reporter Brian Will digs into the details of the case and tells us why neighbors are actually breathing a sigh of relief tonight, Brian. Those two men are in jail tonight as police search for a third suspect who was present in that Northwest Valley home where they're accused of kidnapping and robbery. Neighbors are grateful for the arrest but are still taking precautions. Never any issues in the neighborhood, very quiet. Richard Jordan has lived in this neighborhood since 2015, but on August 6th, this is where thieves started their week of break-ins. The first happened to his next door neighbor. She returned home to find it ransacked. Two days later, just a few miles away, suspects confront a woman at her home with her granddaughters, a gun held to her head asking for the safe combination. They fled before getting it. Then on August 10th, yet another break-in at a home in Summerlin. This time, no one was home. When the community learned that police arrested two of the suspects, neighbors like Jordan were relieved. I'm glad they did because you fear for your other neighbors. You don't want this to happen to anybody else. Um, this one hit real close to home, uh, obviously. You know, next door neighbor, I've known them for about 10 years. In all three incidents, the suspects broke in through a back sliding glass door. Alan Almeida, a security expert, has experienced a home break in himself. You just feel completely violated. Like, uh, you, um, you go home, lock up everything, expecting it to be secure when you get back, and it's not, and it's just, it, it's, uh, it's heartbreaking, but um, everything that you've spent your time to work for and get, now it's someone else in someone else's pocket. But Almeida says there are steps you can take to better protect yourself, like putting a gate around any glass doors and installing motion sensors and cameras. Thorny bushes that you can put up by your windows to kind of prevent people from getting close up to there not wanting to go that way. You could always go in and uh, change all your hinges out to where you'd remove the one inch screws and replace them with three inch screws. It makes it a lot more secure. Something many in this neighborhood are already doing. All the, the neighbors around here have all stepped up their security. We've all paid a little closer attention uh, to the things in the neighborhood. Almeida's best security advice is to get your neighbors involved. The good news is recent Metro numbers show burglaries and break-ins are down about 8% this year. Live at Metro Police Headquarters, Brian Will, 8 News Now. Brian, thank you. Now, the two men that were caught face a list of charges and are scheduled to appear in court on the 12th of September.